Uh, the bigger news, Jake, the LSU coaching staff is now complete. So Cortez Hankton will be announced as the LSU wide receivers coach. Don't know what other titles he will get. At Georgia the past four years, he's been wide receiver coach and eventually got passing game coordinator as well. So this is obviously somebody that's highly thought of. Now, Georgia receivers, not the most intimidating group, right? I mean, to be fair. Uh, but this is a cat who I, I I love a lot of things about this resume. Uh, we mentioned it during headlines, but for him to, uh, excuse me here as I find it. Okay, so he's a NOLA native, St. Arg alumnus. Uh, again, you see this just whether it's through the transfer report or these coaching hires, a lot of people kind of returning home. Uh, he's only 41 years old, so a young coach uh, relatively. Played at Texas Southern. You got to love this. Played at Texas Southern. Speaking of unheralded talents, right? Played at Texas Southern. UDFA, undrafted free agent, makes it six years in the NFL at receiver. So that's a guy who can teach these kids lessons learned the hard way, right? First hand on the edge of the roster bubble. He then coached at Dartmouth. Very smart. Then coached at Vanderbilt. Very smart. And then he goes to UGA and now LSU. I think this is a very nice final piece and one replacing a coach that, you know, had a big, um, and Mickey Joseph, yeah, yeah, you, he, he had a, 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 a big impact, both, both on the actual talent of the guys that were in that room and that he's recruited, but also just being from New Orleans and whatnot. It looks like Hankton is a, is, is a great potential figure to replace kind of the uh, the vacuum that Joseph left behind. Yeah, I mean, there's a clear sign to get as many people that know the state of Louisiana on this staff as possible, without question. Used to, it was like, okay, you have to have a guy that knows New Orleans and the surrounding area because that's somewhere that we have to dominate, right? That was always a thing. And, you know, sometimes you would have uh, Coach Ensminger that was from Louisiana as well, and he did a nice job, obviously, recruiting North Louisiana, but this staff, it seems like they want to get as many people that have ties to not only New Orleans, but just the state in general as they can because, you know, Brian Kelly doesn't know the state like, you know, obviously Coach O would. And so he wants to make sure that he surrounds himself with people that can get into all these high schools because, yes, you're the LSU head coach. And, yes, you're going to have favor in a lot of these high schools, but also – you know, people in Louisiana, we want to know who you are. We want to, you know, we want to get to know you a little bit. So you walk in with guys that know the area. You know, they're St. Aug alums. They, they've played in the state in high school or college or whatever. They've coached in the state, whatever it might be. So that's a clear sign of what they wanted to get done. Even the only coach that got retained and Brad Davis, Baton Rouge native, right? Yeah. So this is a clear sign of what they wanted to do. Yeah, that is true. In the end, only one coach retained. So the full overhaul uh, is now complete, and it's a, it's it's really it's quite an impressive staff, top to bottom. I mean, a lot of winners hired on this staff, right? Like your defensive coordinator, Matt House, the reason why he's still not here is because, well, he's currently coaching in the NFL for the Kansas City Chiefs. The reason why it took so long to name an OC, Mike Denbrock, is because he was in the playoff with Cincinnati, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, and now Cortez Hankton, the reason why that took so long. Well, because he was winning a national championship with Georgia and now leaving for that same job at a school that just finished last ESC. I'm guessing you paid him and he's going to have a nice title. Uh, but either way, a staff full of winners, a staff peppered with, uh, as you said, Jake, yeah. a lot of Louisiana well, ties. And then you have Frank Wilson as kind of the, the brainchild that can now send out these Louisiana yeah. ties to where they need to be in order to accomplish their goals. Yeah, look, you got Frank Wilson. We've talked about associate head coach, going to coach running backs, and we know his Louisiana ties. Joe Sloan, Louisiana ties, right? Being at Louisiana Tech for so long. Brad Davis from Baton Rouge. I mean, you've really got a, a long list of guys. And and now with the addition of Hankton, I mean, you've got a long list of guys that just have so many different ties within the state. So it's a, it's a staff that did take a long time, like you mentioned. It's kind of picked a little bit of here, a little bit of there. I mean, when you, you know, like Jamar Kane, like he was at Oklahoma, and he's like, no, he's going to go to USC. And it's like, no, 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 he's not going to USC. He's coming to Baton Rouge. And so they were, um, they were pretty picky in who they chose. They weren't really on anybody else's timeline outside of their own. A lot of people got a little nervous there for a long time, but at the end of the day, you get people that you either knew from your past, you know, like obviously getting Mike Denbrock and y'all, you know, I think – Pretty sure they stood in each other's wedding or something. Oh, like really? That. Kelly, one, Kelly, and one, of them, one of them stood in one of them's wedding. Is yeah, they, they, they know how they work together. They've been they've they've been around together for years and years and years. They obviously play off each other well when it comes to the offense. It's a bit Brian Kelly's offense, a bit Denbrock's. 
And yeah, there's a def definite huge familiarity there. All right. So look, the staff's together now. Now you know who it is and you're continuing each and every day to get players out of the portal, right? I mean, each and every day, it seems like when you turn on uh, any any social media, there's somebody that is committing to LSU. Now you're losing some players and that's what it's going to be. But now that the staff is fully together, let's see how it rounds out because uh, we're up to what, eight? So you could sign yeah. seven additional plus your 25. Now you're up to eight. So, you're so down 24, to 24, so you've got 11 spots left. Okay. 11 either sign high school players or sign someone from the transfer. The countdown continues. <laughs>